Hello Monster Hunter World players, this is going to be a video quickly going over to the new Defender gear we just received yesterday. Uh, I haven't seen a video on it yet and uh, just going to quickly recap what you should do when you're playing this game now. So, if you're sub level eight, uh, 11, HR 11, uh, you're in low rank, don't worry about any of the gear. None of that gear matters. Make the Defender weapon, keep upgrading those. You know, here I have the great sword but you know any of the defender weapons are nice any of them so if you're using long sword go for the long sword defender charge blade go for the charge blade defender you know switch axe go for that wear the full defender armor this is really easy to get just wear this full armor you can buy it from the armory or you know actually yeah I think you could only buy it you can't forge it so buy this gear as fast as possible put this on this is going to give you your health boost 3 so that's double HP once you get your you know plus 50 from you know chef's choice max potion whatever it is you do recovery ups to keep you alive marathon runner so you don't you know run out of gas while running and divine blessing to keep you alive when they hit you whatever charm I don't think you get a charm till later on so that's what you're gonna do for you know until hunter rank past 11 do not farm any of the gear all the other gear is garbage once you reach even this gear right here is garbage once you reach hunter rank 11 once you hit 11 all the low rank gear is trash the armor the weapon keep upgrading it whatever you use keep upgrading it so once we hit um, past 11 you're gonna transfer over to something like this uh, still having your defender you'll switch out the Kulu and Rathalos this is to get weakness exploit 3 50 percent more critical meaning you know 50 percent chance of more damage really good uh, you got a little less health a little less you know running power and you don't have the divine blessing but you're, you're gonna be you know knowledgeable of the game to see what's going on you're probably running into your first wall Nergigante and again keep upgrading your weapon this does not contribute to charge blade charge blade would be a s different build but you can't even get that that's sub 16 so this is still going to be what you'll use for charge blade even at that point uh, as for bows and stuff I guess you can use this but not that but uh, versatile I don't really go over to uh, range weapons because range weapons aren't that great until end game anyway so this is what you'll use pretty much for level 13 you can swap out the defender stuff uh, this is just the basic idea of what you use the Kulu head and Raphalos mail. It's very easy to get. Raphalos will be a little difficult, but the Kulu head piece, get that as fast as possible, just to get the weakness exploit. You know, more damage, faster damage, more kill times. I mean, quicker, quick kill times gets you through the game quicker. So after being Nergigante, you should have the fully upgraded weapon of your defenders. And you're going to switch towards something like this build. This is going to be ideal for almost every weapon. Except for charge blade, the bows. You know, bow, bow guns, all the bows. I uh, think that's pretty much it. But this is generally going to be the best build for them. As far as usage wise. And it doesn't matter what you use. We'll go in there and look at the stats now. So, for the damage, 1070, you know this is what we're looking like every time the reason why you're using this set because every time you critical it says right there prevent your weapon from losing sharpness when you critical alright so weakness exploit gives you 50 percent critical chance great if you hit a weak spot maximum might gives you 20 percent so you're at 70 percent and then 20 more percent if latent power activates you know you're at 90 percent critical so you know 90 out of 100 I'll take that any day. You don't lose your sharpness. Sharpness is so important because white sharpness has a multiplier of 1.32. Blue sharpness has a multiplier of 1.2. So, you know, pretty significant difference, I guess, as far as damage-wise. And who, who wants to sharpen their weapon? With this, you know, you could pretty much never have to sharpen your weapon. Hopefully. As long as you hit a weak point. Uh, the chest and... Uh, charm is empty because it's up to you I highly recommend you get the health charm because throughout the whole game you probably had the health boost from the defender definitely go for the health boost charm 
as high as you can get it and the chest go for whatever you feel comfortable there's not really any good chest pieces out there nothing too special that I could really see maybe you go for a focus if you're using great sword with three augment slots that's real nice probably Damascus for great swords but if you're using something else like you know long sword you wouldn't really care for focus you know dual blades stuff like that you wouldn't really care but this build works with pretty much everything other than the bows and charge blade so that's the the general build and the defense as you see is it's okay you know for sub 16 this is generally what you're going to be running with then running over to charge blade because we need to go over that this is what you'll be using for charge blade focus to get you know charge up your files fast you you'll get the charge uh full files red files by your second double slash artillery for more file damage capacity boost for one extra file you know that's a fifth more you know 20 percent more damage added on and guard for your little guard points the gloves the only thing on this build that you can switch out and not care too much about is the gloves and helmet the helmet is 50 percent i mean uh two weakness exploit which is 30 percent it's not that important uh with this build the sad which is the big explosions with all the files coming out is going to be your main damage it's going to be close to a thousand that's where your damage comes from the little slaps you do the sword those hits are usually under a hundred damage so you know you do the math <laughs> it's not that complicated but the weakness exploit is there just to milk out as much damage as possible you can switch the gloves to the ingot gloves which gives you two health boosts you can also switch the helmet to the rathian helmet for two health boosts instead just to get the health boost to go around with it you know so those are the two things you can switch out everything else keep it on it also this is going to be the build you'll use until you get a lot of decos for charge bleeding users unfortunately but it has a lot of decoration slots you will want to get elementless and gold diablos but until then you'll be using the new defender gear so there it is 792 that's what you've been using until you get this isn't it's pretty much the same as Diablos let me oh I got two already oh well it's the same as Diablos 828 and then once you get you'll be using the, the defender until you get this elementless jewel which is right here wham and there it is 911 now on the damage it's a big difference when you get that decoration so that's what you'll do with that same with greatsword going back to the other build greatsword so this is good but wyvern ignition is still number one but you need the elementless see 1070 eh that's okay all right not bad wyvern impact 1022 yeah it's garbage we all know and I can't fit an augment on there so give me a second we're just gonna put that on just randomly because it has a slot for elementless and I'll show you that and there it is 1152 big difference not as much white and not as comfortable to play with I guess but you know more decoration slots for vitalities whatever you may want to put on there if you have the decorations and that's generally it so as far as weapons wise there are some weapons and I'll go over them right now that are top tier the f uh, under katana this is top tier this is going to be fighting for number one spot in all of the long swords in the game this is going to be fighting trying to get number one sometimes it'll fall short sometimes it it's going to be number one. So, uh, charge blade, no, it will not be number one. It's going to be the Diablos charge blade is still number one with all the elementless. Once you get elementless, this this is irrelevant. You get elementless jewel, that level two elementless jewel, the yellow one, it will make this irrelevant. 
great sword same thing wyvern ignition impact is still number one as long as you have the elementless jewel and the wyvern ignition impact which is an event every hunter's dream quest definitely do that it's super easy all you got to be is hr8 to get five blueprints and you're good to go so which axe this will be fighting for number one this is going to be a weapon that doesn't really care you know once you have this this is going to be 99 percent of the time you know good uh, it, the only other contenders would be the Taroth Water and Devil Joe. Uh, Diablos is okay if you're a speedrunner because you need Affinity Booster and all that, but that's for speedrunner. You know, you're, common players, you're not going to worry about that. Sword and Shield, this will beat the Devil Joe. So, Sword and Shield, you can play Elemental and you can play Raw Damage. Because uh, this weapon has two kinds of sides and it can scale either way. It's like 50-50, kind of, basically. So you could go straight for all attack or you can go for straight for all elemental damage. So the this is going to be the full out attack. So you want to just make this and just fight all the monsters with sword and shield. This is going to be your option. Unless you want to make all the elemental sword and shields, then, you know, that's going to be great too. But... Overall, this is going to have the best matchups in the game for Sword and Shield. This does shake up the meta because this is now going to be the best, probably the best neck-to-neck -neck with Devil Joe for damage-wise. The new Defender Hammer, this is fighting for first place, I believe. Yeah, no, nah, this, this isn't fighting for first place, but it's pretty easy. This is like 80 to 90%. Until you get Elementless Jewel and maybe some good gear and so forth. Then you'll switch over to Diablos or the Taroth Sleep. Which is probably my go-to because it's a lot more use, easy to play with than the Diablos. Because Diablos you need 4 levels of Handicraft to get it to white. And the Elementless Jewel to get it up. And you also need to get out a negative 30 affinity. That's a lot to play with. This on the other hand you just get it and you're ready to go. The Lance, this is the new one fighting for number one spot. It used to be uh, Devil Joe and I think the Kiar Decay, I believe. Something Decay. It was for number one. This is up there with them. This is going to be, you know, one of the top fighters for regular Lance. Insect Glaive, this is, gonna, again, one of the top contenders for number one. It's going to go up against... The Devil Joe, the Taroth Paralysis version, which is from Cold Taroth and another event monster up in the Gathering Hub, you don't know. The Daggers, nah, not so much. It's definitely usable. This will have easy matchups. You know, you, you can't make any, all the dual blades. You're starting out low level. This is going to be the best. Until, you know, you make, you know, the fire ones to kill monsters that are weak to fire, the water ones for the monsters that are weak to water, so forth. Because this weapon is heavily reliant on elemental. Hunting Horn. This is fine. Uh, Devil Joe is pretty much still better, I would say. But as far as versatility and use, this is going to be a lot better. Just to have the health recovery and the earplugs. Uh, I don't know why people complain about earplugs and say like it's good. It's really not. But, you know, if you like it, I love it too then. Going over to the Defender Gunlance. This is going to be the new number one as far as overall use and so forth because this is why. So you could swing lance it or you could shell it. So you got two options. Both options are really good with this weapon. The Devil Joe was originally the best for swing lance, which is also ledge hopping. But it's still going to be better, Devil Joe, but you'll need a lot, you know, handicraft, ways to work around affinity. This, on the other hand, you pick this up, you're good. This is going to be good until you get all the good decorations and so forth. Um, the other option using this would be a wide shelling, which is poke, explode, poke, explode. And that's the safest way to play the gun lance other than ledge hopping. Which if you don't know, just Google it, you'll figure it out. But um, shelling, it's just, you know, poke, explode, poke, explode, block whenever you have to. Not too much high commitment. The other two is swing lance. I mean, the other two is, uh, I meant three ways, is Swing Lance, Full Burst Combo, and 
long shelling. Long shelling is where you just hold your shield and shoot that, you know, charging blast. High commitment, you're going to get punished. Full burst combo, same thing. You swing the lance, you sh discharge all your shells at the end. Same thing. It's high commitment, you're going to get punished if you're not good. Same with swing lance, you swing the lance and smack them. If you're not good, it's high commitment, you're going to get hit. That's why those three I do not recommend for new players. Just go for the poke explode or the ledge hop, which this is going to be good with either way you do it. This also works with swing lance too if you want to get into that. But, you know, generally just poke and explode. That's your best way of getting your damage because if you're not doing your full combo, you won't get the damage out. And this is just poke and explode. So, pretty simple. And that's generally all the defenders. The armor is not that great. It's good for all the way up to level 11. Like I said, going over to 13, get the Kulu head and Raffalo's chest. All these are all, you know, switchable here. The defenders. Then you'll get to level 6, 16, kill as much Teoshers as possible. Really easy. Flash him every time he's in the air. Ledge hop him if you're a great sword user. Whatever you got to do to kill him, kill him. And finally, once you get past 16, you'll get Behemoth Armor, which is the Final Fantasy Special Assignment. It's not an event quest. It's always there. That's going to be the best armor for almost every weapon that's melee, except for Charge Blade, Gun Lance, if you're shelling. And I think there's one more, but off the top of my head, that's what I remember. And Charge Blade, this is going to be your best build until you get the decorations. De uh, charge blade is so heavily reliant on uh, decorations with artillery, guard, and uh, magazine capacity. So this is going to be the best damage you can do until then. <clears throat> so that's the builds. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys use a script, just which is just run through the game as fast as possible. At Sixteen SOS if you have to. Add me and. Let me know where you're at, what you need, what's going on. I will help you out if I can or if I will. Sometimes I may be busy, so I can't, but, you know. Other than that, that's pretty much it. The Defender weapons are really good. They're going to be anywhere from the 80 to 90 damage range, while top best is going to be 100%. Then there's, like I mentioned, the three weapons. Well, there's a couple weapons that are replacing number ones. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, add me if you like. See you around.